Hello viewers, this is your SSK and today we have an interesting story from Chandamama and the name of the story is The Sinner. When Brahmada Taru led Banaras, there lived in that city a very rich merchant who had a son named Mitravindaka. This Mitravindaka was a wicked unbeliever. After his father's death, his mother tried to persuade him to give alms, practice Vichu and follow the Dharma. The boy turned a deaf ear to his mother and refused to change his way of life. On a full moon day, the mother said to Mitravindaka, Son, it is a holy day. There will be preaching all night. Take the vows, go to the cloister and listen to the law. When you come back, I will give you a thousand pieces of money. For the sake of the money, Mitravindaka consented. He went to the cloister, but instead of listening to the law, he lay down in a corner and slept. Early in the morning, he washed his face and went home. The mother, who was expecting her son to return with the elder who preached the law, prepared food and awaited them. She was disappointed to see the son come along. Why did you not bring the pre preacher? She asked. No preacher for me, mother, Mitravindaka replied. He ate his food and took the thousand pieces of money from his mother and went about his business. Soon he gained a sum of two millions in trade. With this money, he speculated, I shall buy a ship and trade across the seas and make more money. He brought the ship, loaded it with cargo and went to his mother to tell her that he was going to the seas. You are my only son, said the mother. You have so much money. What more do you want? It is dangerous to go on the seas. Do not go. Mitravindaka, however, insisted on going. The mother caught him by the hand and entreated him to stay. The boy struck her down and was gone. Soon he was underway. The ship sailed for seven days on the sea without a hitch. But on the eighth day, in mid-ocean, it became immovable. Lots were cast in order to find out which on board aboard was the cause of the mishap. And Mitravindaka got the lot. Thrice the lot was cast and all three times Mitravindaka got it. Let us not perish for the sake of fun, the sailor said to Mitravindaka. You are the cause of trouble, so leave the ship. They gave him a raft and cast him adrift on the sea. At once the ship sprang forward and was gone. Soon the raft took Mitravindaka to an eye. There he found a crystal palace in which four female spirits, the dead, lived. Seven days they spent happily and seven days in woe. For seven days he lived with them, was very happy. Then when their week of four began, he got onto his raft and went away. He went to another isle where he saw eight spirits living with them for a week and when their week of four started, went away to another isle where he lived with sixteen spirits and at another where he lived with thirty-two spirits. Leaving them, he went on his raft across the sea till he came to a city with four gates and a wall. This was Usara Hill, but it looked beautiful to him. I shall enter the city and become its king, he thought. He entered the city and saw a man with a razor wheel on his head and fivefold fetters on his breast. The wheel cut into his head. He was bleeding with g groaning with pain. But to Mitravindaka, he looked like the king of the palace, the wheel like a lotus flower, the fetters like rich vesture, and his groans like sweet music. He approached the man and said, Let me also wear the beautiful lotus on my head. You have been wearing it long enough. Sir, this is no lotus, said the man. This is the razor wheel. Ah, because you don't wish to give it. Mitravindaka said, You say so. This man is here, thought the tortured man. Because of smitting his mother like me, he has come to release me. Must be I have paid for my sin. Then the man put the razor wheel on Mitravindaka's head and departed. By and by, Bodhisattva, who was king of gods, came there on his rounds with a large ritune. 
He saw Mitravindaka with the razor wheel on his head and the fivefold fetters on his breast and halted before him. O oh Lord, Mitravindaka asked him, How can I get rid of this razor wheel? The king of gods replied, You had money, but you wanted more. Your desires were never satisfied. Even when you did a good deed, it was only out of selfishness, but not out of a pure heart. You lived with four spirits, then with eight spirits, sixteen spirits, and finally thirty-two spirits. You never cared to tread the highest path of human being. You rejected the friendly advice of the man who was bearing the razor wheel before you and brought the wheel on yourself. Now you wanted to be saved. No one except death can save you from the wheel. Then the divine being departed, leaving Mitravindaka in misery.